So another pointless piece of derivation of the secant formula. So we know this, and this is what, if we're talking about this um, practically, let's practically say that we know this because this is given to us and that we should have this memorized so we can, so we can recognize these patterns. But it, we could also prove it, so let's try to prove it. So we're going to take this little piece right here. And all we're going to do is we're going to multiply by 1. So we're going to take this like this. I'm going to say, what is secant x? And then we're going to multiply by 1. And the one that we're going to choose is secant x plus tan x. Secant x plus tan x. And of course, what makes it 1 is the fact that it's secant x plus tan x over secant x plus tan x. And of course, let's look at this for a second. I didn't do anything. Literally nothing. But look what happens when we multiply this out. We get secant times secant, which is secant squared. So that gives us secant squared x plus plus secant x tan x. I'm just looking at what what do I need? Secant x tan x all over secant x plus tan x dx. And you may not be impressed right now, but if you think about this carefully and you look at your, um, your rules of integration, you would find out really, really quickly uh, that something good is happening here. That uh, Let's take the, differ the differentiation formulas here of tan x. It's secant x tan x, so there's that. And of secant x, I'm sorry, of tan x, it's, sorry, of tan x, it's secant x squared. And, uh, I should have written in a different order, but anyway, sorry. The first derivative of secant of x is secant x tan x. So what does that tell us? That tells us that we have, right? The good news here, that tells us that we, in fact, have, oops, that we have this. And what does that tell us? It tells us exactly what you think it tells us. It tells us that we have an ln, right? We have an ln function here. So we could do the whole u substitution, and if you want to, let's actually do that really quickly. We have a little bit of time, so let's do some u substitution. We can prove this out also. So let u equal secant x plus tan x, and we take du dx, and du dx is of secant the secant is sec. You know what? I'm going to do this backwards because I screwed this up. Of tan x, right? Of tan x, we get secant squared x, right? The first derivative of tan x. Oh my God! Did I just screw that up again? <laughs> of secant of x is secant x tan x, right? Tan x, and of tan x, it's tan secant squared x, isn't it? And we go through all of our gyrations here and we finally figure out that du over secant x tan x plus secant squared x is equal to dx. Now we can do our substitution, can't we? We would get this and we would get Da, 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 secant squared x plus secant x tan x all over we're gonna we're doing our substitution and u equals this piece here so over u times du over all this crap here isn't it secant squared x plus secant x tan x and lo and behold this cancels and this cancels and we act whoa hello and we have this we have du over u don't we and we have du over u and that should give us a really happy face because we have dx isn't it which is really really good news for us because when we see this we know we have ln so now what do we have we have ln of u plus c and it's ln of what is u hello ln of u well right 
is, oh my gosh, so it's ln of secant, well, secant x plus tan x plus c, and that's what we were trying to prove the whole while, wasn't it? If we go all the way back up to here, so there's our proof, it wasn't pretty, wasn't pretty at all, but that was our proof.